Hi there again. Yep. Now well, it's the unboxing and review of the comedian, the Joker from the Batman, the Three Jokes. All right. Um, like I like this is really nice. I like this. Not bad. Same crowbar. Oh, sure. I'll just throw that away. You know, what? we'll put him back in this in the picture. So I like this. I got this, yeah, because, yeah, I like this Joker a lot. Maybe he'll be my number uh, two. Or them two will be number three together. So there's the back of the box, that side, that side. <sighs> Excuse me. And there's the bottom. So let's get the comedian open. So it is. So let's get the card out. In the stand. All right. So we all read that. Zoom in. Alright, so, the Joker, the comedian from Batman, the three jokes, real name I know. So basically, this is the same. Um, once a small time crook, the Joker fell into a vet of chemicals that turned his skin white and his hair green, his lips red. Like a crazed clown, his crimes always involve pranks and jokes ending with twisted punchlines that only Joker, f that only that are only funny to the Joker, sorry. He may look like he's clowning around, but this guy is bad news for Batman Gotham Summit. In a stunning turn of events, Batman has learned that there are in fact three versions of the Joker operating in Gotham City, this one known as the Comedian. Among the trio is far more clever than his counterparts and hairbores and hopes of becoming Batman's one true Tormentor. So there you go. So let's get the gadgets out. Gadgets. <laughs> yeah, let's get the accessories out. Same exact crawl bar. Oops little heavy. Alright, so there we go, that's done. I like it when it's only one one tie, one plastic thing holding them in. It makes it easier to get them out in a sense. So there we go, see? So I think same pants. Someone I think said that's the same yeah, it's the same shirt, just that's gray. I think the only thing the torso might be the same and the pants, let's see, are they? Yeah, the pants I think are the exact same. Sorry about all that if the camera's off. This, I don't know, how can you, oh wait, let's see. Cause, let's 
see, can you? Yeah, you can. Yes, and this is exactly what I'm doing. Exactly how I'm doing it. I am going to put him on the shelf like this with the camera around his neck if I can get the ball peg back in his head. In the hole, I mean. His head back on. Yep. Nope. I might have to heat it up. Let's hope not. All right, there we go, it's on. That was a little rough. So there we go, camera's on. Same shoe, same every, you know, but the trench coat and everything. This is, it's weird how this one is hard to find, this joker. Same hand, sculpt, same. But like I said, so the articulation on this one obviously is gonna be limited because of the trench coat. Okay. Sorry, I just want to open this hand. I want, maybe I'll put it in this way. Different from that joker. There we go. Yeah, exact. Someone, it is, I think. Yeah, exact same head sculpt. Well, hairs. Well, you, no, the ears are different. The ears are different. So, and actually, this is more of a sloped face than this one. Right, the nose. Yeah. The the brow is more outward. I think. Or is it the same? Yeah, his nose is more pointy. I think they did a little bit different. So it doesn't look... But I like this one. So articulation, you know, the head's on a ball joint. It turns a 360. The arms go up that far. The detail, I like it a lot. I might put tape around here and then tape the belt buckle silver. So his arms, yep. Go that far up. Whoa! Okay, you saw that, right? Crap. Well, I'm not doing that again. Well, the thing is, thank goodness, build a figure. <laughs> <coughs> well, you know what? No, they're not have to. Yeah, never mind. I was going to think of getting his coat off, but no. Alright, there we go. So, I'm not doing that. So, like that, right? And a rotation. Yep. Right there. And a swivel uh, of the bicep and a shoulder. Double joint arms. The coat. Okay. Wait. Yep. There we go. Touch his nose. There we go. Touch his nose. Um, wrist swivel. Turn. Rotation. Rotation. Sorry. And a swivel in and out. Yep. His legs, yeah, air hindered, but double joint and knees, kick his own butt, yep. Ankle and toe articulation, yep. Swivel, yep. So, that arm, that sucked. <laughs> hey, well, at least it's back in there. So you know the articulation. I like this one actually. I like the I like the concept. I like the detail, and it looks good with the camera. And uh, you know the shirt's not bad either. So like I said, still number one Joker is this my McFarlane '66 Joker. I grew up with that. I didn't really grow up with Batman comics until later. But yeah, that's still um. Okay, so you know what? This is... Okay, here's the thing. Yep, I'm saying it. These two are number two. Because I really like this. I like the detail and everything. I like this a lot. 
He's number three. He's number three. That's three. Oh, what's number four? Well, obviously, it's uh, this is number four. And then Napier. All right, Jack Napier, number five. Yeah. So there you go. That's my. Uh, um, I I don't want to move. 66 Batman, uh, Batman, 66 Joker. Um, but yeah, if you if you saw it and everything, that's my. I did a review. Probably put it up. Sorry, it's just there you go. Like I said, that's one. These two are two. That's three. Yep. So, and I, I'd say get them. If you find them, pick them up. I might end up getting the criminal joker. Um, you know. But anyhow, so that was the unboxing and review of the three jokers. Two out of the three. The comedian and the clown. And I highly recommend finding these and picking them up. Alright, so don't forget to help to like, comment, subscribe, and the link is below. And be well, and this is the way.